Boldness Today, by Pastor Cornelius R. Stam. Some may suppose that it would require little boldness today to proclaim grace in all its purity. Who is ever persecuted now, at least in free, enlightened lands, for preaching God's grace? Ah, but do not be deceived. Satan was no less active in his opposition to the truth when Constantine exalted the professing church to prominence than when his predecessors persecuted the church and sent its members to death by fire and sword. Indeed, the devil was doubtless more successful in Constantine's day than he had been when persecution raged. Does any believer in the word of God suppose that Satan has relented in his opposition to the truth today, just because men, at least in this land, are not burned at the stake or thrown to the lions? Do not be misled, Satan's enmity against God and against his word continues undiminished. His hatred of, the gospel of the grace of God, is as bitter, and his opposition to it is determined as it ever was. But well does he know that the constant discouragements connected with being in the minority often succeed in silencing those who would stand against physical persecution. Today Satan uses the new evangelicalism with its highly organized, highly financed campaigns, and its woeful lack of doctrinal and dispensational teaching of the word, to neutralize the saints. Multitudes are attracted to these neo-evangelical extravaganzas, at which the participants are for the most part performers, and those who stand for the truth often feel very small as compared to the vast unthinking majority. But let us never forget that God uses, things that are not, to accomplish his work, C.I. Cor. 1. 26-29. Let us, who know and love the truth, then, determine by God's grace that nothing shall make us unfaithful to our glorious commission, that, whatever the cost, we shall faithfully and boldly proclaim to others the unadulterated gospel of the grace of God, the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery.